Welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be finishing off where we left off the last video uh, where we chased out uh, for our plug sockets and our back boxes. In this video we will be wiring up and connecting the new plug sockets. Hope you enjoy. video you saw us chasing out the wall for our back boxes and our cabling that one there and our disaster one that needs a lot of repairing that one there all right so we've lifted these floorboards up previously so you can get under them all right so under underneath the floorboards here in this corner, it's a bit dark, I know, sorry. Let me um, turn the light on. Right, so down in this corner is where we have our cables coming up from downstairs. And we have two wires coming up there. One is the um, for the electrical sockets, uh, it looks like 2.5 mil. And then it looked like we got a 1.5 mil for our lighting circuit as well. Uh, so there's no return. So this is a radial circuit and not a loop. So our socket basically comes along under the floorboards and then in there into the bedroom next door. So let's go and take a look at that. Right, so here we are in the bedroom next door. Uh, lift this floorboard up. We've already had out before. Let's get out of the way. And there you can see, let's get some light in there. And there you can see our cable that comes through from the little bedroom next door and the cable that goes back to the other sockets in the house. Uh, so it basically just comes under the floorboard here and goes into this single socket that's on the skirting board. All the sockets in this house are on the skirting board. So what we're going to do, we're going to find which wire it is, the wire that comes through from the bedroom next door. We're going to find out which one it is in there and then we're going to tape our new cable up to it and we're going to pull that cable back through to next door so we can connect our new cable into the socket there and we'll leave the existing cable that then goes off to the sockets in the rest of the room so then when we come to do the sockets in this room we already have a new cable running in here and we can do the rest of the cable in this room so what we're going to do in here we're going to be putting um, this is like the side of the bed here, so you're going to obviously have your bedside table. So we're going to put plug sockets into this wall. So when we do that, we'll take our new cable that we um, put into this socket and we'll just pull it up and we'll uh, connect it up to the socket we got on here. So what we'll do first, we'll disconnect the wires from this plug socket. We'll find out which one of the two wires is coming from the little room. And then we'll tape that up so we can pull the cable back through the hole in the socket, back under the floor, and back to the little room. Make sure you, all your power is turned off. I'm just gonna disconnect these wires from here. I'll put this torch on my head, so hopefully you can... Should have done this when it was a bit of a brighter day. There we go, we're just going to undo these old connectors. Right, what we'll do, we'll just cut the uh, ends of these off, save us some twisting them, and we'll have, we'll restrip them so we've got nice new connections anyway. Sheaving off there now. I put a new sheaving on there to work out what cable it was again. So that's this cable. 
Right, so this is the cable we want to pull back through. So we're just going to pull in our new roll of twin earth cable, our 2.5 mil. So just going to take take some good old trusty gaffer tape. Just going to lay these cables over the top of each other. Tape them up nice and tight. You need to keep this as thin as possible. You don't want to make it too thick, otherwise you're not going to get it back through the through the holes in the socket here, the grommet. And that might be a bit too big. That's what we're going to do then. Cut these cables back. Cut the cables back, then we hold the uh, we hold the two ends together. We'll stick this on there first. Hold the two ends together. Wrap it up nice and tight, so it's not going to come undone. Now that should just poke back down through there. Just going to unroll a load of cable. So there we go, that's our cable coming through. So now we'll go next door again and pull that through. Right, back now in the small bedroom. This is our cable. Through now, going to feed a bit more in. Just push a bit more through. You don't want to put it too hard because you don't want to. You don't want to pull your tape off of here. So it's a bit fiddly. Get a bit more in. The wire through. Right, so now we had enough. We'll probably uh, we'll put a bit more through, but you just need enough for it to go under the floorboard and then up to this socket on the wall. So we just need to push a little bit more, more through the hole. There you go, so now you've got enough cable coming out there, so there's enough to just go under those floorboards there, back out the top, up to our box. And there we go, we've got enough cable to come down and connect up our sockets. So now we can just cut our, uh, our tape off. Then you just love gaffer tape. I'll just push it up under the floorboards. You can always pull a bit more through if you haven't got enough. So let's take it up through our let's take it up through the socket. You want to dress your cable so it's straight and fits nice against the wall. You just want it hanging down nice and straight. So our trunking will fit over that. Yeah, so the cable we pulled through from the socket in the other bedroom, we can just run it all the way along up into that socket under the floorboards. So when we have the fuse box changed downstairs or if this cable needs changing, it's a simple case of Taking it out there, we're going to have that in um, PVC channeling. So you can take your cable up again and then you'll be able to pull it through, back through the floorboards, and then we'll be able to pull it downstairs if we, um, well, if or when, probably will be having the fuse board changed. So we can run new cables down there.
Now it's just back to the other room. Sit you down again and line you up. Right, so what we can do now, we'll cut a bit of extra length off of here. Cut it straight. Because we've got plenty of room under the floorboards to leave a bit extra. And then we'll just connect this old socket back up again. Make these screws so long. Don't over tighten these because you're just going to break the plug socket. There you go, that's your, that's this room put back together. I'm up. Make sure you, when you put your board back, it's not going to pinch the cables or sitting on top of them. And then that's it, put your floorboard back. Back to the little room. Ah, oh, just sight film this again. Tomorrow was, um, tomorrow. Yesterday was a horrible day. There was all clouds low light in the bedroom and it was late uh, the picture quality wasn't that good it was getting a bit too dark and i don't have a like a rechargeable light so there's the wire we've brought through from the plug socket next door which we are going to run along this wall we've got enough gap down the side of the floor joist that we can just poke the wire down into the void but as you can see We've got our floor joist there, so we've got a decent gap behind there. So basically gonna run that along there under the floor joist. And then we're just gonna and we can just stick that up through our box here. Like so. So yeah, so this was a cable we run down under the floorboards and into our plug socket next door as well. So that one's connected up. Alright, so then the other wire, this was like the new cable we run, a new piece of cable. It's basically run it on there, run it on the floor, and then up, which is our other cable in here. What we'll do now, we'll just get the cables behind that um, the conduit there that the uh, the lighting cable's coming up through. We'll tuck it under there and then we'll just tuck it behind the boards and up into there. Right, so as you can see, this is our cable that's coming in from upstairs. So I'm just going to tuck this behind it. Tuck it behind the conduit that's here. So now we can just tuck this down behind our floorboards, making sure it goes making sure it goes all the way down into the void you don't want the boards expanding or being moved and pinching the cable so i'm just going to do the same with this cable tuck it in behind this conduit and get a good look at my bottom from here same again now push our wires down through the gap Obviously this is a bit easier because we've got our skirting boards taken off. Uh, normally you'd probably have to maybe lift a few more boards up so you can slowly thread your cable through underneath the floorboards. Alright, I'm just going to use this which is quite blunt to make sure our wires are just all the way down. Making sure they're not going to be sitting next to the floorboards sit so the cables are cables are all the way down there now let's get our stuff and move in closer so this is our new twin and a half cable that we've connected pull that through there for a minute and this is our old cabling that's coming directly from downstairs so we're going to put some, um, we're going to some, put some PVC uh, channeling over this. So uh, what we could do later on when we change the electrics downstairs, we can put some tape around this and uh, we can pull it through back under the floorboards and then we can pull it through downstairs and pull our new cable from up here 
downstairs to the new fuse box and me get that changed. Just gonna cut a bit more of the insulation off of these. These to the same length, roughly there. Slice this nice and carefully, make it easier, a bit, a bit easier to get off. All right, so now we can slide these back down. So we've just got part of our insulating sticking through all right now we're just going to strip a little bit more probably going to do about 15 mil with these off the ends because we want to double them over when we put them into our socket uh, these ones are a thick stranded wire so they don't they're not going to really need doubling over so we can leave them ones as they are all right so we're just going to double over Our neutrals and lies like so. Right, now let's take a look at our plug socket. Uh, just bought a basic double socket off for this one. Um, British General version. So you've got your little back plate screws in the back, or bolts really, screws, bolts. And uh, you've also got these little white caps that you can pop out. You have four, you have like a spare couple on the other side, and that's to put over your screw holes to cover them up if you want afterwards. So all right, let's look at the back of here. Uh, got a neutral there, a neutral there, not neutrals, two earths either side, lives in there, neutral in there. And they say, they suggest, I mean, we've got a USB one to fit as well. But, you know, if you've got your earth wires and you've got like an earth, an earth socket in the back of the back box, you might as well use them, keep it on the safe side. So, just going up that way. So now we're going to put it upside down. So we want, we can keep our earths separate over that side. So then we want our neutrals together, which in this case would be our blue and our black. And then we want our lives together over on this side. So our red and our brown. So we're going to need our blue and our black over this side. So just move them all into position. And then our red and blacks over this side. So we can just move these around and sort of line them up how we want so we can get them into the box a bit better. Make sure your screws are all the way out so you've got plenty of room to get your wires in there. So that's our two lives going in first. Just make sure we're going to push them in all the way as far as they'll go. And you can just give your wires a quick tug and they're not going anywhere, so they're absolutely fine. And then same again with our two neutrals. If you need to, just put your thumb on top to hold them in position. That's it, give them a quick tuck, so now you know they're in there properly now, nice and tight. All right, now for our earth on this side, we're gonna put our, just we've just cut a piece of, um, cabling to get us our, our earth wire, put our earth sleeving over it. So we just poke that into the connection in the back of the back box. Do that up. And then we'll just get our earth sleeve in. Put it over that. You can leave it short of there of how much you want to go in the thing and then you can leave it short there of how much you want to go into the connector and then you can obviously fold it over to see where the end of the wire is and then you can just literally 
snip that off there. So then when you push it all the way back, you've got the right amount that you need hanging out there. So just going to twist them together a bit tighter. So angle them down. So that's now two earth leads from there. We've got our earth lead, earth lead from our old cabling and the earth lead that's going to the junction or the connection on the back box. Which now just leaves us with our earth over this side. So again, slide your sleeve on. You can leave it short of how much you want. Then leave this one a bit longer because we're going to double the end over. Cut your earth sleeve to the length you need. Push the sleeve all the way on. Just going to double this over. And we push that all the way in as far as we can into our earth socket there. Just keep hold of it, pushing it down. And do that up nice and tight. And that's it, all connected. So now that's ready. Now you see the reason we cut the insulating back down as far as we can. Because to move these wires around inside with this insulating on is really tough. At least once you've cut it down, you can push the wires in on each other to flatten them down or wiggle them around so you can get your box on nice and square. So now we know. Just have a quick check down behind. You want to make sure you're not pinching any wires on anything you know make sure they're not getting pinched on the between the top and the back box and I'm not going to short anything out so make sure they're all going to fit in there snugly make sure no wires are going to interfere with your screw holes you've got either side get that one started Take another one for the other side. So just make sure there's a little wire sticking out there, just make sure that's out of the way. Yep. And just double checking that no wires are getting pinched anywhere. Obviously, before you connect this up, you'll put your uh, trunking on and your plaster over there. But I just want to show you how to get this on. Uh, there we got some trunking. This one's a bit long. And a bit wide. And what we'll do is we'll squeeze this trunking in there. And that's it, you can just put your trunking over there. Red to be plastered over. And you've got plenty of channel there if you need to pull them wires up or down or you know change them they can be pulled back down through the floorboard along and out so now this means i can get this wall finished and plastered and then when we have the electrics um, changed downstairs what i can do i can come up here disconnect the old cable and i can run a brand new cable through and back downstairs to the new fuse box downstairs so that's that one done well on this one this side We've got a USB socket that's uh, being connected up into this one because this is most probably going to be where your bedside table is. So uh, connectors are slightly different on the back. You're live and neutral over this side together. And then you've got your two elves over this side. But it's all pretty much the same for connected up uh, a USB socket as your, your other one. So I'm just going to put this one in quickly and show you when it's done. Oh, we've got a socket tester now. The uh, correct method is two green lights on. If we haven't connected it properly, but it won't work. There you go, two solid green lights. So that's that socket fine. Now we'll check over to our other socket. Put that one in. Again, that's fine. Two green lights. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're liking what you see, press the subscribe button and you know, hit the notification bell so you get notified of any more videos I put up online. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.